Hi, this is Zahid Haq, ECS Applications Engineer at Texas Instruments. Today I'm going to demonstrate a dual mode key fob application using TICC2564 Bluetooth solution. Detailed step-by-step -step instructions for this demo can be found at ti.com slash Bluetooth underscore key fob underscore demo. TI's Bluetooth portfolio includes solutions based on CC2560 Bluetooth devices, CC2564 Bluetooth plus Bluetooth Low Energy or ANT, and CC254041 Bluetooth Low Energy. These solutions are available through TI and distribution in device form and from third parties as pre-certified modules. For more information, see ti.com slash Bluetooth. This demonstration is going to show TI's CC2564 QFN device simultaneously connecting to an iOS device with Bluetooth Low Energy and an Android device via classic Bluetooth. We will then show data transfer over both on standard applications that are available in the respective app stores. We are going to use TI's MSP430 F5438 experimenter board and CC256X QFN EM board that are available from TI eStore and distribution channels as well as ANT standard iOS and Android devices. Make sure the Bluetooth stack on the experimenter board is flashed with the latest software available on the web. Now we are going to show you connecting CC2564 QFN device to two standard products at the same time, showing a Bluetooth and BLE connection simultaneously. First, we are going to connect the Bluetooth solution with an iOS device. Make sure you have downloaded TIBLE Multitool on the iOS App Store. First, open TIBLE Multitool app. The app should begin searching for Bluetooth devices. Next, press the Connect button next to KeyFob to connect to this device. The device should then appear under Connected Devices. Tap the key fob under connected devices to display the GUI. We should see the simple key service and the accelerometer service. Any key press or movement on the key fob server, our experimenter board and CC2564 EM board should get detected here. Also, you can tap the profiles button to configure the individual services in this profile. For example, to disable the accelerometer service, toggle the button next to TI accelerometer service. Now if we go back, we do not see the accelerometer service. Only the simple key service is shown. Now we are going to connect the CC2564 to an Android device. Make sure you have downloaded Blueterm from Google Play Store. To connect to the device, open Blueterm, press the menu button, and hit connect to device. The app should show a list of paired devices. If the device is not already paired, select scan. It should search for available Bluetooth devices. Select and pair it with the device running the key fob demo. After a while, you should see accelerometer and button press data appear on the Blueterm screen. Now you can rotate the experimenter board and CC256X QFN EM and see the accelerometer data change on both applications at the same time. TI's dual mode solution includes hardware, software, documentation, and support to make designs and development easy for customers to add Bluetooth to their applications. To find out more, please go to ti.com slash Bluetooth or visit our wiki at ti.com slash connectivity wiki. Thanks for watching.